contaminated food and water. Uh, I don't have a picture of it. Just pretend he's drinking hepatitis. You know how I drink <laughs> syphilis? I thought about that the other day. Anyway, so the idea here is that with hepatitis A, this is food poisoning. It's a viral food poisoning. It does indeed in infect the liver. However, once the symptoms subside and you reach convalescence, the organism is gone. It's not harbored in the body anymore. So I had a nurse that was upset. I got hepatitis. I've got hepatitis. We found out she had hep A. We said, calm down. You're not going to have it forever. Just, you know, get, get control of yourself. Next one is the rhinovirus. So you see the rhinovirus particle that's there? I don't know why they're showing me this antibody. I'm not going to talk about it. So the rhinovirus is the name of the virus that causes the common cold. You see how many different, we don't say species, right? Do you know how many variations or strains of the virus there are? I have it in here. What did I write in here? 110 different serotypes or strains. There are many more than that. So the rhinovirus is what causes the common cold. And then lastly, not lastly, the second to last, um, this is called the Norwalk virus, but it also has another name. I think I use a new name on the exam. It's called the norovirus. Anybody ever heard of that one? Anybody ever have it? I had it. <laughs> yeah, garbage can between the legs sitting on the toilet. <laughs> I'm busy right now. No, but recently they reported a couple of cruise ships uh, and people getting sick. You mm -hmm. see right here, it says Norwalk? Yeah. Gastroenteritis associated with cruise ships. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got friends that work on cruise ships. They have great jobs. Mm -hmm. They're physicians. Um, I won't talk about some of the things they do, but I'm going to say this. One of the things that they always do is every time they walk into another part of the ship, they always use hand sanitizer. Every time they're touching the rails of the ladders and the stairs, they're always using hand sanitizer because this is routinely found on cruise ships. Right. Now, anybody know what you think is the most common thing that my friends treat on cruise ships? around the world. What's the most common illness? Diarrhea. Everybody has that under control, right? Everybody knows to get over the counter stuff, right? So what do you think is the second most common thing he has to see people for? Gastrointestinal nope. stuff, mm -hmm. no? Morning after pill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's true, with one exception. There are some cruises that go up 